This is part one of a how-to video on a Expo Fiber Inspection Probe. It's an FIP 435B APC. And so uh, this is the first video that's just going to show you about the cables and the cleaners and the tips for it. And then the second video will show you actually how to use the device. So first thing we've got is we've got a, uh, we've got a fiber inspection probe here from Expo. It's a wireless version, and what it'll do is it actually it ties into a, whether it be an Android or an iOS device. We've got the manuals over here, uh, an iOS manual, uh, an Android manual, and a connector max, which is, this is just uh, another manual on actually how to use some of it, which we're going to go over in the video in the how-to. That's going to be in video two. So these are in there. We'll get into these more in video two. Um, we've got a couple of cables here. Um, the thing that you've got to pay attention to for the novices that are out here, uh, we use in the CarverLink network, we use SC, Sam Charlie cables, and this is a Sam Charlie APC. APC is green. APC means it's angle polished. So if you look at that very end, there's a little bit of an angle on it. I think it's an eight degree angle on the end of that. These are used typically more for video environments like we do in uh, the Carver Link network. This is the primary cable that we use throughout our network. And then there's also another standard that's out there that we use when it comes to what you're gonna find typically in the data centers, switch to switch type thing, fiber to fiber. And it's the, the Sam Charlie and it's the UPC, which means it's, it's just got a straight end. A lot of times they just drop the UPC designation and it's just called an SC and a Sam Charlie end. So this is an SC, an SC UPC. This is an SC APC and it's green or blue for what you've got, okay? And then we've got some cleaners. There's some videos on our cleaners as well. We've got the Fujikura One Click that we use um, when it comes to uh, fiber optics. Seven out of ten issues uh, relating to fiber optics, whether it be for connectivity, uh, data loss, packet drops, things like that, specifically have to do with uh, the fact of dirty fiber. So your patch cables, your bulkheads, your term panels that you have, keep them clean. And we've got things here for that. We've got a the the, the one click cleaners, which are awesome. We've got uh, for multiple uh, fiber optic uh, patch cords uh, cables that you've got. We've got the Cleetop S's to use them as well. And I'll show you how to use them real quick. There's some videos on that type of stuff too. And then we've got the the bulkhead adapters. These are all the tips that go on the device for the different types of, of uh, 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 term panels that you've got or the patch cables that you've got. Okay. As far as the device itself goes, it, uh, it's, it's rechargeable. It takes us, there's a standard uh, uh, USB charger, so if you got something for your phone or your iPad already, it's great. And then it just takes a, a standard micro SD connection to plug it in with. So it's just a matter of plugging it in and charging the thing up. They should come usually fully charged up, ready to go for you from, from us. There's two of them that we have. So there's two of these devices, and I'll show you some differences in the video too for that. Um, they're the exact same model, but uh, they come with a different serial number, and that matters when you sync up in your, uh, in your iOS or your Android device. So you've got that. A little bit about the tips for what you've got. So you've got the different tips that are in here. Both of the, the units that we have have this exact same case with all the exact same parts in it. And so the tips that you've got, so I'm going to play around here right now with this here SC APC connector and I'm going to test that thing. And so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab the, the patch cord APC connector right out of there. Now this is important and I want to show you some of this like this is that, and it's hard to see and probably in the video, but if you feel around this thing, there is a little bitty notch in it. And I just came across it right there. So there's a little notch that you'll feel in there, and that little notch is important. That little notch is what actually needs to marry up to the top notch that's on, uh, on your patch cable. So they need to go like that because this is an APC, this is angled, so that angle has to marry with this angle for it to test it right. Okay? If it's the, uh, the non-angle or the flat polished or the flat end, then it's not a big deal because we also have a connector for that, but it's these here just go inside of here for these and they don't need to worry about the angle that they're on because they're just they're all straight okay but we use the specifically for a reason we use these here SCAPCs and then the way you put it on 
is that you've got the device down here and it only goes on one way it'll fit in this little groove there's a little groove inside of there and it goes into that little groove you put it in there and it won't move anymore it's it's in there tight and then you slide up the little collar tighten it down and it's ready to go and you can kind of see the little angle on it maybe in the video don't know but there's a little angle on that and then there's the groove and the groove is on top now because of how I put it in there I can feel it with my finger there's the little groove and then when I put my cable in I need to make sure that the little notch is matching up to the groove so when I put it there when I test this thing and I'll show you how to, how to use them but that that needs to marry up so that they'll see each other so that angle and that little notch should match up like that and then you gotta kinda leave it alone now I've got a little trick for you so that you don't have to sit there and worry about the fact that this thing's spinning around and you gotta sit there and worry about oh did I get it lined up so you've got your patch cables right now and I'm gonna say well that's great but you're gonna stick a bunch of core cables in here patch cables in here to clean them and test them and you're gonna have to mess around and always make sure it's all lined up well we're gonna find it we got a little cheat way to deal with that and what we've done is we've got a little um, we've got a coupler or a little bulkhead adapter basically this green one and it's again it's green to green that's why I'm doing this a green one if I were doing my blue ends I'd grab my blue bulkhead coupler from my case and so what I can do is I'm gonna come in here and I have a bulkhead so from inside of here there's a bulkhead a turn panel or a bulkhead SCAPC it and that's what I've got here in my hand and it also has a notch on it it's got a little more of a heavier notch on the top so I'm gonna put that in my my device it only goes on one way it's tight bring my collar up Try to do that without getting in front of the camera. Okay, I'm in there now. And now what I can do is that I can actually take this here little coupler or this bulkhead. This is going to be like your turn panel. It's like, hey, here's your turn panel. And I'm going to go into that thing. Okay. And I can take that and I got my little notch. And I, let's see, where's my notch at? Right there's my little notch. So I got a little notch right here. I can feel it with my finger. So I've got that notch and I need to marry that notch up to this notch. So I'm going to get them in there and I'm going to push that together. Now before I do that, because I've got this in here and I want to make sure it's clean, I'm going to take my, my one clicker and I'm going to shove it inside of here. Give it a little clean, make sure it's nice and clean inside so it's cleaned up. And then I'm going to take this guy here and get him shoved on there. Now it's on there. So it's there, it's done. Now, when I take my cables, I don't need to worry about trying to line them up and stuff like that with this angle if I'm using my green ones that are angled. I can just take it and shove it into this, and it'll, it'll marry it up. There, now it's all in there, and I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm flipping it around and stuff like that, and it's moving. It's not moving. It's inside of there. And so I want to take it out, pull it out, put my next one in, do my thing as I'm cleaning it so I don't have to mess around with it. So if I use the patch cord or the patch cable tip then I got to make sure I'm lining up to that thing all the time and making sure it doesn't move. If I do this cheat code here uh, then I don't have to mess around with it here, this little cheater. So I've got that. So um, and then you've got, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit, let's see what else would I got for you here. You've got your, again you've got your tips. Uh, please be cautious with the tips. Uh, they range from anywhere between 100 and 250 bucks a piece. So uh, for what you got in here, again, you've got your cables, you've got your cleaners. If you run out of cleaners or anything like that, let me know. I don't want you to be shy on cleaners. So cleaners are definitely something I'll take care of. Uh, each of these is about 80 to 100 bucks a piece. Um, but like I say, I'll make sure that you got what you need to do the cleaners. I love the the Fujikuras for what you got. So again, you take them and you just stick them in the bulk your, your turn panels and and do them. They also do the cables as well. So you put the tip back on it like this, and then you take it and shove it down in there and and you've cleaned it. That I've got a video on these two already. And then you've got the cleat tops, and you just open it up, clean it, done. So I'm done that way. So. Uh, that kind of takes care of what we've got for the devices um, and then I'll get into the how-to next.